very uh, warm welcome to my students i am here uh, for a lecture on teaching and the nature of teaching uh, process uh, teaching uh, it is an important uh, uh, aspect covered in a beard syllabus where the students are being trained for teaching technique uh, this is very important for my beard students to know about what is teaching and what uh, is the nature of teaching exactly so let us start with what is teaching uh, teaching is a system of action intended to produce learning whenever something is being taught uh, the objective is that the uh, person or the students who are going through this process uh, they should learn uh, it is based on the uh, learning outcomes the objectives are to uh, learn some concepts and these uh, objectives should come out as outcome uh, after the process of teaching is complete i'll read uh, i'll uh, tell you about a, a proper definition i'll read it out it is uh, given by h uh, c morrison and he says teaching is an intimate contact between a more mature personality and uh, a less mature one which is designed to further the education of the latter a person who is who is knowing more he will uh, be teaching and he will be telling or uh, making the person in front who is uh, knowing less than himself in some area so that he may also learn some concepts so this is what is teaching this uh, teaching uh, it has uh, some basic nature and uh, this nature can be uh, i'll tell you in some points first thing is that teaching is a complex social process teaching is a complex social process education uh, when we talk about education it comes from the society and the teaching process is also driven from the society whatever is there in the society whatever norms whatever culture uh, whatever the pattern of the society is that uh, reflects in teaching as well because the society is also not static it is uh, dynamic in nature it is continuously uh, changing therefore teaching is also adapting itself uh, very uh, regular in a very, very regular manner as the society is doing so uh, whenever the society culture will change whenever the society will come out with some new norms or some new uh, things in itself the teaching will also come out with uh, some new technique so it is a social complex phenomena because it is driven by the society the second is it is both art and a science it is a science because definitely teaching has some techniques some skills that are being learned by the students whenever teaching is done it is through some process it is through some techniques or through some skills uh, that the education is being given so this is science and until and unless a teacher will not use his or her creativity or uh, his own ways of teaching uh the effective teaching cannot be done so it is an art as well so it is a process which is a science and an art as well and then it is a professional activity because it is going on formally between a teacher and a student so a teaching uh, in its nature is a very professional activity and an out uh, the fourth thing is uh, the output is emanate, emanating itself from the teacher the teacher is making the whole process going on if it is a uh, student centered also in the as the new norms have come the learning process is uh, better or is more effective when a teaching process is learner centered still whatever activities or whatever techniques or methods are being used in class they are being done by the teacher so the output orientation of a teacher uh, is there in the class so the whatever the pupils are learning is according to the um, ways and the methods a teacher is using in a class so output is coming through a teacher whether it is learner centered also then also a teacher is influencing his class next is and it is an organized system of varied action various activities are organized when a teaching process is done whether it is the lecture form or some demonstration is going on or some experiments are being performed by the teacher or some uh, learners are made to do some activity Uh, the all these things are organized by a teacher they are varied actions depending on the content that has to be taught it has to be taught in a theoretical way or it has to be taught in a practical way all these comes uh, from the uh, thought processes of the teacher what uh, skills what methods should be used so all those methods and skills are organized by a teacher in a class so that this plan of action can help uh, a student out in uh, coming to the learning outcomes or making him achieve the learning objectives uh next is it is highly dominated by the communication skill by the communication skill of the teacher see when a teacher is 
uh, teaching he should have a good mastery of the content there are triple c's uh, that a teacher should have first c is content a teacher should have good mastery of the content then uh, the second c is communication if a teacher is having good mastery of the content but he is not able to deliver his information or his knowledge effectively in front of his teacher he has uh, less influency uh, has has less uh, fluency of uh, language whatever language he is using then uh, his communication uh, will uh, be affected and when this communication will be affected the learning will not be done properly so uh, content uh, the mastery of content and the communication skill of the teacher both are very important and then the third is curiosity uh, curiosity of the teacher to know more and more to get more and more knowledge so that he can also tell his students more and more this is also very important so um, there it is highly dominated by the communication skill this teaching process this is very much affected by the communication skill of the teacher then it is an interactive process as we all know communication is uh, better and it is more effective in the teaching process when it is from the both the sides interaction is there, there between the teachers and the students uh, so this communication process, this interaction from uh, should be from both the sides. The teacher uh, tries to make his uh, teaching very interactive by taking, uh, by giving chance to, by giving opportunities to the students to answer, and by making them uh, giving an uh, environment where they can raise their queries. So whenever th there will be more interaction, the teaching process will also be more effective. And uh, it is a specialized task comprising of uh, different teaching skills. There are various skills that are being used by the teacher and in the teaching process when a teacher is well equipped with all those skills and he's using those skills in his regular classroom, definitely a teaching will be very effective. So this is also there in teaching. It comprises of various skills and this uh, teaching process is uh, having methods, techniques and skills and therefore it is a very specialized uh, thing that should be known by all the student teachers. Thank you. Thank you all. I hope you all have understood uh, the nature of teaching, which is very important for you to know as student teachers. Thank you.